Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy. You know how I do. I'm in the pipe five by five. Thank you for watching this. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you hit the subscribe. All right. We're going to be talking about how the banks will destroy Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> Alrighty, yes. Well, they they are um, on the war path, of course. All right, they want to um, uh, lie, cheat, and steal. All right, and we're going to talk about that in today's episode. We already talked a little bit about that, about that in last yesterday's episode when I mentioned how you know the SEC is coming out saying, "Oh yeah, BUSD is uh, that's uh, security." Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, it doesn't pass the Howey test, right? I'll look up the Howey test. It states that, um, you know, if, if you buy this asset with the, the intent of actually increasing your wealth based on somebody else's work, well, then that means it's a security. Well, how do you plan on um, increasing your wealth with a stable coin? can't do that <laughs> and and nobody else is working to actually increase the value of that stable coin so yeah well we're going to be talking about that and more in today's episode so make sure you stay tuned it's going to be lots of fun uh, we're also going to be doing uh, some charts and uh, an analysis of the markets and seeing what we can do to make some trades and if you're interested in making some trades so you could head over to bybit.davinciej15.com or okx.davinciej15.com just sign up right now and you can uh, start you know dollar cost averaging or even trading um, a lot of different pairs at those uh, different exchanges so the solid exchanges so i suggest you head over there all right so let's start off with the first story of today we we told or told you about the you know um how the SEC right came cracking down on BUSD. It, it's bigger than uh, I thought it was. Um, uh, what happened is Paxos. I know this is not in the article, but I have to I have to mention it. They stopped issuing um, BUSD for whenever you want to 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 get some BUSD. You can go to Paxos. They give them some dollars and they get you BUSD. And if you want to get dollars, you can give them BUSD and get get some dollars well unfortunately that's done for and so what does that mean to binance's bsd stablecoin well right now you can only actually trade somebody who already has it busd right um for us dollars and back and forth so i think i am um, um, we'll talk about this furthermore but let's just just read the, what it says here for this article first mover asia binance bnb token plunges uh, Bitcoin holds uh, near 21.8K admits regulatory uproar. U.S. financial regulators recently cracked down on Binance's BUSD stablecoin and other recent events underscore why Asia is more likely global hub for digital assets. Okay, well, sounds like a sales pitch for Asia. But yes, you can see that the SEC, I mean, it's a, it's a scam organization, right? Because, uh, I mean, if we bring up my Twitter, you could say that, oh, you know what? No, they're not. They were, they're defending us. They defend people, right? They help uh, the, the average man, right? They're only here right now to stop, to help prevent all the nonsense. Uh, yeah, okay. I have a, a cool, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, I always put some cool uh, anecdotes up. This is, this is my favorite right here. You know, the SEC is like, oh, yeah, crack it. Now Paxos. Uh, they're blocking you from Paxos. Yes. Meanwhile, yes, they, they there's going to be knives and they let you uh, get die from FTX, Celsius, right, Luna, and all that kind of stuff. So not much help. And you're like, well, they're here now to save you. Um, after all the collapses, yes. <laughs> and there's no more to come. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's how they are act. And you know, they they even it's just this is this is so bad a blatantly a blatant lie it's like saying um you know you murdered somebody when you know you didn't and there's lot plenty of evidence there's even video evidence of you not murdering the person not even being near the person and the government says you killed them right everybody doesn't believe that you didn't kill them 
And that's just the way it is because the government says it. And that's what's happening here with the BSD and the SEC. They are completely lying and they can get away with it. <laughs> this is our world. Right? <laughs> and it's a sad, sad situation, but that's, that's, you have to realize it, right? This is why Andrew Tate's in jail, right? He didn't commit any uh, trafficking, human trafficking, but, you know, he's not powerful enough, right? He's just rich. <laughs> it doesn't stop you from um, stopping the, the powerful people, which is the banking system, from doing whatever they want. <laughs> So keep that in mind. Uh, money is not going to um, save you from uh, these guys. Um, they, uh, if you get inside their their uh, scope, they are going to shoot, and there it doesn't matter if it's uh, true or false. Uh, that's how the, the banking system works. Uh, it's not the government. Keep that in mind. It's the banking system. They are the ones who are behind all the nasty, dirty stuff that goes on. Okay. You don't see that every day, but empty Bitcoin block. Now, this is a this is a interesting uh, thing I wanted to just point out, right? Uh, because I know about I'm I used to mine Bitcoin, so <laughs> I, I know it's a little bit in the middle of all this uh, crisis. But I wanted to talk about it a little bit um, right now that uh, there was an empty block, and this is not uh, that big of a deal, right? Basically, uh, when you're mining Bitcoins. As a, as a miner, I just wanted to let you know that you're trying to quickly identify, find a block as fast as possible. And so one of the things you do is you check to see if you can figure out a block with no transactions quickly. And sometimes you figure that out. Now, once you do, you, if you broadcast it to the network, you can get the, the block reward. So do you want to, um, A, give up that block reward and find the block that doesn't... Um, have that has transaction fees which will take longer or do you want to get that 6.5 6.25 bitcoin so obviously you'd say yes to that 6.25 bitcoins so that's what happened because it's a random thing in order to find the blocks sometimes you can find it quickly in fact uh, mathematically uh you can find the next block really fast and this is why i used to run a pool and I would, uh, once I found the block, a whole bunch of miners, because I was doing um, shared um, mining um, where through the, um, what's it called, the hash rate, um, mathematically, it was possible to find the next block rapidly. So this is why once I found a block, a whole bunch of miners started moving to, more, to me, mined quickly in the hopes to find the next block really rapidly uh, so they could rapidly get a reward because mathematically you could do that. So this is a, a possibility um, with uh, Bitcoin. So it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. There will be a time in the future where the banking system will make a big deal out of this. <laughs> and you make sure you tell your friends, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, crypto's banking problems. Um, the industry needs access, but the U.S. regulators keep digital assets at bay. Yes, duh. The federal banking regulators seem to have free reign over crypto's U.S. destiny, and they're using their power to push it out of the banking system. Yes, of course they are, right? Um, why? Well, <laughs> well, because it will end them. <laughs> they're not stupid, <laughs> right? I mean, if if something some technology or something is coming to take your job and you don't want to lose your job i think you might do whatever's in your power to stop that from happening <laughs> so it's not a surprise right crypto can become what many of this proponents want it to be without banks that's not true uh, but u.s regulators are circling the wagons around the banking system they oversee the barrier is only getting wider as the Federal Reserve and other agencies turn away crypto firms trying to link with the traditional financial system. Ah, uh, you cannot stop a technology whose time has come. It is impossible. There's no stopping Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. They can only at best slow it down. And that's it. The day will come when... Everybody moves to Bitcoin because and, and cryptocurrencies because 
it's a superior technology. It's a superior means of storing wealth. It's a superior means of uh, transaction, transacting with another human being uh, by transferring your wealth around, right? By transferring your work effort, transferring your uh, your uh, your assets such as your minerals and whatever is on your land to someone else for an asset that will always increase in value over time because it's limited and fixed in number. It makes perfect sense to use it as money because you're not going to be cheated. You're going to be getting an asset that is valuable as valuable as the asset you return you exchanged for it and if you hold it it will increase in value it just makes duh oh my god what i i, I i'm gonna hold, hold an asset that goes up in value that is more than what i just gave oh my gosh can you imagine people understanding that concept understanding that you're at a job and you're getting paid in an asset that's going to go up in value, not down in value. Whew, yeah. So they know their time is limited on this planet. Uh, and so uh, there's no stopping it. There's only slowing it down. Yeah. So they continue to, uh, you know, put out the, the news that U.S. cracks crackdown seeks to push crypto back to the fring fringes of planets. Screw them, right? Crypto's free pass is getting yanked. Yeah, it got a free pass. <laughs> As most powerful U.S. regulators rapidly close uh, key doors to the uh, the country's banking system. Yeah, you can't you can't convert that Bitcoin to dollars. Screw you. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that Coinbase is still running. Yeah, same with Binance U.S. still running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know how you're going to. Uh, close key doors but you can you can you can talk about it though <laughs> and that's what they do right a blunt declaration that said crypto related risk risks that can't be controlled shouldn't be allowed to migrate to the banking system yeah talk is cheap did you did you did you um did you close down coinbase no you didn't did you close down binance no you didn't <laughs> <laughs> okay all right stop with stop with the nonsense right it's not gonna work right so this is what they do they're just they're talking they're, they're they're talking to, they're waving a big stick right they're they're, they're and uh and basically uh barking right with le with their words and lying and and lying about binance usd by busd so it's 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 not it's not over don't worry i'm sure Binance will be able to create another issuer other than Paxos. So, and this guy, Gary Gensler, the most evil person. I remember when everybody thought, oh my God, Gary Gensler is coming to save crypto. I'm like, wow. People just, just, they don't even know his history. They were like, well, the public just doesn't know how bad these people are. And I know because I, because I remember this guy went in the silver days when he came to save silver and i was like and i was reading articles people were saying oh my god gary gus is here to save silver um from uh, all the manipulation that's going on and uh, I'm, like, I'm like okay why do people trust in politicians and government what what planet do you live on where that has always worked out there's never been a time basically where a politician has uh done something right yeah okay fine let me take that back yes there has been positive politicians i'll take that back but in the majority of history that's not happens has happened what we see more often than not is just bad politicians and we're in a situation and in, in a history time in history where they're all bad <laughs> <laughs> and it's only through revolution that we get some positiveness, positive uh, politicians. And I think we'll see more of that positivity once Bitcoin becomes money. Because uh, right now, if you're able to print money, the worst of the worst people float to the top, right? Because they um, they know how to you know maneuver, right? 
and and scam and cheat because that's what the system does. It's a scamming cheating system. So if you have a base system that's about scamming and cheating, well, the best scammer and cheater is going to uh, move to the top. That's just the way it is. So that's our system today, and it will come to an end. All right, so um, there is going on right now is what's called a uh, weekly death cross. Um, that's first time ever in Bitcoin history that we've seen a weekly death cross. What is a weekly death cross? Well, I'm going to talk about that as we transition into the um, into the charts. But before we do that, thank you all for voting. Oh, my God, I'm over a thousand. One thousand one hundred and sixty two. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. If you haven't voted, thank you. Come over and vote um, right here at the blockchain dash live dot com. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Links are in the description below. Thank you once again for voting. It's it. Thank you for showing the love. I really appreciate it. I'm like miles ahead of everybody and I appreciate that. Okay, so let's head over to the charts and see this weekly death cross. So let me just remove this um yeah, this square so you guys can see the death cross a little bit better. Come on. Okay, there we go. So the blue line is the fifty week moving average and the brown line is the 200 week moving average and so when the 200 week moving uh, when the 50 week crosses down over the uh, the 200 week that's called a death cross now i believe the death crosses are only effective on the daily and they're not really that much effective so we've seen like a, a, a golden cross on a daily right i'll show it to you right now there's the golden cross and so you could see once we had the Dolan cross, there was a big bounce to suck you all in and then wipe you all out. Boom. But overall, it will turn into a positive because we are reversing here over a longer trend. Now, so does that mean that this death cross uh, on, on the um, weekly, does that mean that the overall trend is going to go into a negative spiral down? No. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at the daily. Um, how many times has this crossed? Right between like that, there's been a death cross and a golden cross. Well, if you take a look throughout history, right, you'll notice, right, death cross, right. So great, and that means we we collapsed, right, and we did. But let's take a look. We had the golden cross. We went up a little bit and then it didn't go as high as we wanted then we had a death cross here but look it went down but then it reversed immediately shortly afterwards so that didn't work out if you shorted that you only got a little bit of move down and then it pumped on the daily so you can see that these death crosses right although and the golden crosses although they do occur right they're not always accurate Right there, death cross, pump. Right, death cross, pump. There was a little bit of dump, but it turned into a pump. So it's not 100% accurate. This one, this golden cross was positive, but it's not again 100% accurate. So keep that in mind when you're dealing with both uh, death crosses and golden crosses. They're not 100% accurate. So does that mean this golden cross is positive? Yes, because we've ended a bear, bear market because Bitcoin goes in cycles. And so we've ended a bear market. So it's mo it lines up with other fundamental events. So that's the best way to trade, right? You trade with um, lots of indicators that tell you one direction, right? So you go with this indicator saying well, positive direction. Looking at the fundamentals, positive direction. And so uh, you look for another indicator to tell you if there's positive, and that's that's how you move. That's how you trade. You can say, uh, you know, there's a divergence and so forth down here, and so many other indicators that says, hey, you know what, this is, we are positive. So that's what you have to go with on a daily scale. 
basically. So you can't take this weekly scale that says, oh my god, it's game over. Let me just close all this. Oops. Game over, game over. And go with roll with that because that's not that's only one indicator telling you that something's negative. But there's no other negative indicators except yeah, you're saying, well the price is going down. Uh, well, you know, the price ha does is going down, but it's not indicating it's not uh, collapsing rapidly. So this could reverse on us very quickly. And there's lots of moving averages to hold the price higher. You can see the 13 EMA, the um, the uh, let's see here. This is uh, the uh, 21 e, um, EMA is also right there. So we can see that we are going to probably get held by those EMAs. Maybe we will break through a little bit, but uh, it won't uh, won't last below those EMAs at all. I really don't think so. Usually, when um, on the 13 EMA, when we cross it um, heavily. Um, we we get closer to it and then boom there's a big pump so look for a big pump on bitcoin very very soon let's take a look at the the um the market on a lower time frame all right we got the daily let's go down to the four hour you can see that we are bouncing off support but this is not a positive sign here we are resetting retesting that support failing below the 13 ema on the four hour um a, po a possible breakdown to um, to the next support level is is eminent um, in the, the next little while, assuming that this does not break above twenty two thousand one hundred uh, dollars. If we break above that, then we can say, okay, well, we're gonna reverse the the trend. It's unfortunate. Hopefully, we hold. Maybe we could hold a next level here. It's unlikely, but it would be nice if we can just hold above. At the 30, 30, 38.2, that's a 21, um, around the 21, 200 uh, dollar level. Um, if that's the case, then you know we can um, we can see that reversal occur. But uh, yeah, don't not likely. So, what is the trade here? Um, there's not much trade. The trade here, you're gonna have to sit on your hands on this one because you know, honestly, there's so much support here. Um, would have to break heavily below this in order for, for us to make a trade. So let's just sit on our hands for now. Okay, let's head over to Ethereum. It broke below the um, the support level. This indicates, yes, that we are going further down. Right? We broke the support. We've broken the 38.2. This is critical uh, level here. So you can say for sure this is not positive situation here uh, we retested the support you can see um, that's where it was you can see the um, body candle bodies and uh, have have, um, have uh, on, on above the support have bounced off of it and the candle bodies below the support has um, has uh, reversed off that as well so um, yeah this is an easier um, play to over uh, Bitcoin that this is a short um, um, most this is the more likely than not a short than than you can see this thing reversing there's a, a, a low probability of this going higher although it is possible it's just it's it's, it's more likely to us to, to the breakdown um, and head to approximately the 61.8 um, is one level but most likely we're heading down to 78.6 sorry <laughs> Yeah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Nobody wants to see bear market, but this is that's that's where we're at, and that we have to accept it and uh, trade it as is. Um, you can you can um, trade this a little bit easier now that we're we've made a clear uh, direction. You can just take a two percent loss on this uh, trade because the odds of us reversing are low. And let's go to two to one, and there you have it. There's a nice trade that takes you to the 50%, which is a safe area to take profits, or you could just automatically, um, you know, move your stops right to 50%, and let's see if um, um, see if we could take you all the way down to 78.6 uh, for free, and then get uh, a free trade right there. 
with that said, we can go back to Bitcoin, right? Because it wasn't clear what the direction is and say that, hey, you know what? This is uh, a definite uh, downward trend, right? Um, you can you can take the risk. I know Bitcoin is a little bit more difficult to read. I like this is why I like to um, use Ethereum along with Bitcoin because, you know, now Bitcoin has is been completely managed by the um, by the powers that be. So they are making it very difficult to um, to trade. Uh, you'll find that it's similar to what the Forex is. And so you could take a two to one on this one. And yeah, you can see that safely we can just, you know, bounce off 38. I mean, we're not going to bounce. We might bounce off the 38.2, but we could go a little bit lower, come back up. Right. And you can say, OK, well, I can just take 50 percent off of that and, and see if it breaks all the way down. Um, Going further, you can see that hey, if we continue to break, we break the um, the 50% mark, which is um, which is around the 20,000, 20,300 dollar level. We can see that we can easily come down all the way, all the way to the 61.8 or even this um, uh, 70, 70.5 uh, level, which is the 18,600 dollar level. Unfortunately, with Bitcoin, oh man. Hate to hate to be a bearer of bad news, but this is what we're we're we reversed, uh, unfortunately. Um, there there doesn't seem to be much hope, but yeah, you know what? It could uh, Bitcoin can um, you know rally from here because there's a lot of um, negative news, and usually when negative news comes out, it could uh, give us a reversal. But you can't go on that. I would um, go based on the charts, and the chart says. Go, we're going down we're going down unfortunately okay well thank you all for watching thanks for being here i hope you enjoyed today's show make sure you hit the thumbs uh, up button uh, also subscribe and uh, i really appreciate it uh, remember you know what the simplest thing to you if you um, don't want to trade you should just be buying bitcoin you should be buying just a hundred dollars worth of bitcoin every week um and you or even just ten dollars if you can't afford a hundred dollars a week ten dollars a week of bitcoin and you won't regret it in the 10 years from now you'll be so happy that you have that bitcoins and the only thing you need to do is whenever there's an emergency and there's a problem and somebody says oh i need some money or somebody uh, something happens um just pretend that bitcoin's not there and you don't have it <laughs> <laughs> because that is your that's going to save uh, uh save you uh save your life and save your or your wealth a lot better uh, and than any kind of emergency or or savings that will do uh, in any other asset so try not to spend that bitcoin uh, at all costs all right well thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow cheers <laughs>